Hello there, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a rather quick one, so I've got it on uh, slow-mo, but I really wanted to showcase the Wildwood Rangers on the Wood Elf roster. So we jumped into quick battle. This is a conquest match against Kislev. Now, Wood Elves, I have been trying to get better and better at, so hopefully I do you guys proud. Let's get this show on the road. Well, you know what? We're going to keep it slow motion for just a little bit to get over the armies. So... I have brought five Wildwood Rangers. So a nice big wide uh, front line. It's very much melee. I only have two Deepwood Scouts and then a couple of Cav. Well, actually a decent focus of Cav here on this flank. And the big thing that I want to showcase about the Wildwood Rangers is two things. Number one, um, they have bonus first infantry now. So they're actually really, really good at fighting other people other people's front lines, um, armor piercing especially. So into our armor, armored Cossars, they're actually going to do fairly well. Now they are taking some decent pistol fire here from the armored Cossars, but armor piercing anti-infantry, that is a unit they are designed to fight. They do have stock and Vanguard deployment, which means I get to start right on top of their lines and they only get probably one or two volleys. So it works out really, really well for me. They also, the second point, have had their Guardians of the Wildwood reworked. Now, this actually isn't going to take place in this game, sadly, but if there's a terror-causing unit around, they do get a plus 10 attack, which basically makes this unit a very good all-arounder. Most large, like, single-entity monsters will have terror, which this essentially gives them a bonus versus large, so they're just a really good all-arounder unit. They are fairly expensive, but I really like them for the Wood Elf playstyle. Now, I only have two archers. This is not meta Wood Elves. I am playing very melee heavy, but it's going to catch my opponent off guard, and hopefully we can turn this into a win. So for my opponent, we have the classic armored Cossars with pistols all on the side here. I'm going to pause for just a little bit longer. Um, and then a couple Cossar Spears in the back. We have an Ice Witch with Ice Sheet and Death Frost for their spells. Griffin Legion, the Oath Brothers of Tor, Another Griffin Legion. Wow, three triple Griffin Legion. That is a very expensive cab. So I wouldn't call that a meta Kislev build either. So we'll we'll see how this all pans out. Glade Riders are going to engage here. The tech I've brought here for my Lord is Helm of Discord on the Glade Lord. He also has Call of the Wilds and the Banner of the Hunter King, which is basically just a flat plus 10 melee attack to the um, cavalry he is around. And then Helma Discord just makes the matchup even better. So I really, really like it. Bringing these Griffin Legion down to 10 melee attack, 8 melee defense. Our initial Glade Riders with Spears do get crushed. They're not going to beat uh, Griffin Legion or Kislev Cavalry in the slightest with that first. Oh, what is that cast? Down? Oh, that's the, that's the Oath Brothers cast. That's right. So they go, but hey, they did their job. They broke the charge of these... Um, or at least they, they took the brunt of the charge of this Kislev cavalry. And so we're able to get a fairly decent charge onto those Oath Brothers. They have far better staying power, so we're going to take the Wild Hunters of Kurnos and run away from that engagement. We'll take our eyes off of that for just a little bit to see. These Wildwood Rangers are absolutely crushing these front lines. I absolutely love it. We did also take this objective just barely with our Deepwood Scouts. They're getting some skirmish fire in against these Armored Kossars. Back here, the Oath Brothers did get stuck into melee, so we are now taking a nice charge into them. We get a healing down. I forgot to mention, I do have a Branch Wraith with Milkos Myth Mystifying Miasma and Earth Blood. So Oath Brothers do get charged by those Wild Hunters of Kurnos and hit. Well, actually, they don't get hit by a Milkos, but I get healing at the same time. So we're able to clutch out and take out those Oath Brothers of Tor, which is the big, big piece that threatens us here in this game. So we're starting to pull ahead in the balance of power. Griffin Legion come in with a nice rear charge. They're, well, not rear charge, but a reinforcing charge there. The Oath Brothers do break. Wild Hunters of Kronos are about to probably go down, but dang, look at the damage this Griffin Legion is taking on. Great Stag Knights and Wild Hunters of Kronos are absolutely killing it. That plus 10 melee attack just passively given by the Glade Lord is working wonders. And there goes down that Helma Discord for another... Just huge debuff. Helmet Discord is primarily the reason I take him. It feels really good in cav fights. You're able to just absolutely swing the stats in your favor. And it just feels so, so good. So, really happy with that. We're going to take the Wild Hunters Cardos. See if we can hunt down the Ice Witch. 
We're able to clean up all of these front lines. As you can see, the Wildwood Rangers did amazing. I know I said I wanted to showcase them and then we didn't really show them, but infantry fighting just isn't that exciting. Watching Cav, you know, charge, cycle charge, and go back and forth, seeing those engagements, I guess, kind of has my attention more. But again, this is a really, really quick battle. And at this point, the game is over. We do end it there. And super fast. I wouldn't say either of us had very meta builds, but it definitely showcased, if you look at the damage numbers here, the effectiveness of these Wildwood Rangers. They did their job and then some. Super proud of them. Our cavalry, they just kind of broke here, but the two heavy hitters of the cav did absolute wonders. And then, of course, our casters and Lord don't do too much. So we'll go over the Kislev numbers here. Hopefully you did enjoy that one. I know it was a quick one, and I know I haven't uploaded in a long time. The I don't know. It's a mixture of burnout for the game. I'm really just waiting for that next DLC. I'm so excited for the next DLC. So with it on the horizon, I haven't been gunning to play the game as much. Some decent value here at the end here with these Cav units. Um, and then there are a lot of other things. Worlds for League of Legends going on. I am a fan of that. I will watch that presidential election and halloween and all sorts of stuff kind of got in the way so i apologize for the lack of uploads i don't know if it's going to pick up until that dlc comes out or not i'm really really waiting for that dlc regardless hopefully you did enjoy this short one just showcasing the wildwood rangers there um i know this is another win and it feels kind of like a stump here but i'll be honest i i struggled to find uh i did play some tournament matches and turns domination i just don't like domination that much domination tournaments that is so i'll try to find some more competitive battles for you guys in the future i did have one i had lost but i the hot fix that ca came out with totally desynced the replay and it was a wood elves versus corn where the wildwood rangers like beat the corn infantry at least you know fairly soundly it was mainly marauders and chaos warriors so it wasn't like anything too special and then my cav got bl obliterated by minotaurs, and we eventually lost that game. But with the hot fix, it desynced every play, and now it just it doesn't it doesn't play out the way it does. So, or the way it should have. So regardless, I will try to find more replays in the future that are a little bit closer. Uh, especially try to grab some losses for you guys, so it doesn't feel like you come in and just see me win every single time. Which you know that's just my bias, and like oh that was a good game, I pick it, I play it. Hopefully. That doesn't bother you too much. Let me know, though, if uh, if there's something you would like to see specifically, multiplayer battle-wise, faction-wise, um, or if you want to see campaign stuff. I think the tier list I did for Beastman did really, really well, so I might try to do some tier lists. I think campaign, campaign gameplay may be something I try here in the near future with the DLC coming out. I'm really excited for the Ogre rework and Gorbat Ironclaw, Skulltaker, all of the things are just super duper hype, so I, I'm looking for that, looking forward to that DLC, and hopefully when that comes around you will get more content from me. So either way, thanks again for watching, sorry for the long monologue here at the end, um, and I will talk to you later.